Yo, we about to get hit again. We about to get hit again. I'm gonna have some dash cam footage of it. The hell I'm talking about, bro, we live in Florida. We're supposed to get hit. Anyway, let me tell y'all what I've been doing lately. Yeah, let's go. been so damn slow uh especially during the week listen i've taken a just hunting scheduled rides I ain't gonna lie and lyft's new uh scheduling page um it i'm telling you it's not bad at all you can go on there you can look for airport drop-offs you can look for uh you know rides going to certain areas there's there's a multitude of things you can do with it um you can also see what rides you've already got reserved so you don't have to hunt through them. And, and you know, we'll be in the office in a little bit and I'll work you all through that. But here's the bottom line. Doesn't matter what platform you're on, there are a lot of scheduled rides out there. Now I'm not saying that on the regular Lyft platform, those scheduled rides are paying any better, but I tell you what they do do, they pay by the rate card. And as long as it keeps paying by the rate card, they pop up for me, Excel, Lux, Lux Black, Lux Black Excel. I'm going to keep taping them. And I'm going to keep taking them. And I'm going to keep taking them. Because it doesn't matter if I'm sitting at home or if I'm sitting in the street. I'm trying to get this money. Matter of fact, I'm on my way now to a 5 o'clock scheduled ride. And I just picked up three and a quarter. Three and a quarter bonus. That's right. That's what I did. I used to use Skeddy, right? And then up until about a month and a half ago, Skeddy wasn't doing me any good. You know, Skeddy is a pay to play app. They hunt the rides for you. You connect your account, your Lyft account with Skeddy, and they would hunt the rides for you, meeting your criteria. But like for the last five, six weeks, I ain't got nothing off Skeddy. So I figured it was uh, Skeddy code, their code was jacked up because Lyft changed the way scheduled rides are presented to us on the app. Okay, cool. Yesterday, I finally get a Skeddy request, and it was a good request. Um, I didn't take the ride because uh, where the ride was going to end up was going to put me in a ton of uh, rush hour traffic, and I don't like rush hour traffic. So, you know, that was that. But then yesterday, a couple of my guys turned around and said, hey, man, we're getting regular Lyft rides, scheduled rides. I'm like, what? I said, check your settings, make sure everything's good. They checked their settings, everything was perfect with Skeddy, yet Skeddy was throwing ride after ride after ride to these guys that were regular lift rides. Problem is, these guys are like me, they drive Excel and above. So, you know, I didn't think nothing of it. Then about a half hour before uh, I left the house to go get this ride, guess what happened? Skeddy sent me a regular lift ride. What the, Skeddy? That's not what I paid you for. So now I got, what, 36 credits sitting on there and I had to shut it off because they're sending me bad rides. Rides I didn't ask for. Rides that my app is not turned on for. Skeddy, get it together, get it together before I gotta put you on blast. Now is we're gonna go ahead and open up the Lyft app. Uh, this is on an Android phone. On the Apple phone, it's a little different and I will show you a screenshot about that. So, we open up the phone. Under More Ways to Earn, you'll see Scheduled Pickup. Go ahead and tap on that. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to populate uh, rides that are near you. Okay? As you can see, there are rides in the area. So, up at the top here, you'll see where it says Date, Time, Reserved. And when you slide that over, you will see Airport Drop-Off. So, right now, we're going to go into Date. Now, say I was looking for rides for tomorrow, right? There are 52 rides available. It will populate only rides for tomorrow. Give it a second to do its deal. See all the rides down there? Now, the one downside to this is for whatever reason, it always throws me down to the bottom on these rides. And you can look through there. It's a $12 ride. 
you know, there's an $11 ride, another a couple $11 rides. Every time, though, you move the map, it's going to repopulate. So if you were, that's if you were in Miami, that's down, uh, that's Opelika, Miami Lakes. There's the airport right there. If you wanted to go out to South Beach, see what was going on on South Beach. As long as the line across the top is, is moving, it is populating. So you see there's a couple of rides here. Okay. If it doesn't say otherwise, they are all regular lift rides. So here's a ride for tomorrow morning going from Collins Avenue to Opelika Boulevard. Okay. And you could reserve the ride and that's all you got to do there. You dismiss it, it's going to take you back to where you were. It's like hitting the zero button. Okay, so that's on date. Let's just, uh, let's do no more filtering. Okay, let's go by time. Say you want something in the mornings, 5 a.m. to noon. Hit that. And then it'll populate those rides at that time of day. And apparently there is a ton of them here in Miami. Here's a $22 ride. 7.15 a.m. Remember, we just went 5 a.m. to noon. So there's a ride going up to Fort Lauderdale Airport, a regular lift ride. It's 25 miles, so it's about a dollar a mile. Where you get beat up in is the time. But I can tell you, it's 7.15 in the morning, along 95 going north, there's not a lot of traffic. So, you know, you have to decide this on in the market that you're in. So up here by me, okay, there's a couple of rides up here. Now, once you change the screen, your filters will be gone. They're going to go away. So let's just try to see what was here in this area. This is Weston, Westonzuela. Here's a $29 ride. Again, it doesn't say any different. So if it was a Luft, a Lux, or sorry, a Lift XL, Lift Lux, Lux Black, Lux Black XL, it'll say that underneath it. And those are the ones that I hunt. But if I were in the Tesla, which I will be soon, right? Let's see what this $29 ride is. So they're going at tomorrow morning. Um, they're going all the way down to Miami. You can see it's 38, 30, 39 miles. It's going to take you about an hour to get there based on the traffic right now. Not on the traffic tomorrow morning. That'll be adjusted. But remember, this is by the rate card. So you're going to do okay with it. Um, it is what it is on Lift Basic. You know, you can't I mean, you can't get blood from a stone, and right now, Lyft is treating us like stones. So, there's that. Now, you want to check out your reserved rides. Res rides that you've already got reserved. Just click on the... You can see... You can't see me pointing, but you can see every time I hit a tab up there. It's going to show me my reserved rides. So, you can see I got two check marks here. Those are my reserved rides for tomorrow. I got one at 7 a.m. Going to the airport, and one at 9.30 going to the airport, okay? So we'll click off of that, and then we're going to let it populate again, and then we're going to go into airport pickup or airport drop-offs. So if you're somebody who just wants to do an airport run, okay, let's see what we got. And this would be my main area here. So we've got some rides here, right? Now this is what I'm saying about Lux. If there's a Lux ride going to the airport, there's two of them right here now you can see. Tap on the Lux ride, 6.20 a.m. tomorrow, 7.2 miles, somewhere between $15 and $21, depending on the rate card. So it might be a little less. It won't be less than $15. I usually shoot right in the middle. This ride will probably pay about $17. Okay? Unfortunately, uh, once you go back, you got to reset. They haven't figured that part out yet. So we're going to go back up in here. But now you can see if you're an XL or above uh, driver, you know what you're looking for. If I were driving, okay, so there's nothing right now. I constantly check the app. It, and I can sit here and I can do other things uh, besides sitting out there on the road. Here's a $40 ride probably going down to Miami International. It is, right? It's going to, it's at 310 today. It's going to pay somewhere between $36 and $43. 46 miles. You know what you drive for. It's your choice. Anyway, so I wanted to show you that and uh, let's go look at the Apple phone. All right, so we're going to open up the Lyft app here and it's a little different in the uh, in the iPhone app version of Lyft than it is in the 
uh, Android app. So you see here, it populates where you're at, right? That's fine. And you got to be a little patient with it, depending on your network signal. You can always pull up from the bottom here and check rides as well. You can see here there's a regular lift ride uh, up to $26, $4, $4, $13, $12 miles, uh, $12 for 10 and a half miles, you know. And you'll it'll show you how much it's going to pay, when it is, and what time it starts. And it also gives you the rider's rating. Right, here's another one tomorrow uh, for $17 at 7 a.m., uh, going 17 miles, 29 minutes. So you get the idea there. The big difference here with these is that when you're looking at the map, right, it'll show you two rides and three rides and three rides bunched up. So let's let that populate for a minute, which I'm glad Android doesn't do this. As you can see, it's just taking too damn long to do that. Nobody's got time for that, right, Jeff? So anyway, same thing. You can hit it by the date. You can hit it by the time. You can see your reserved rides. That'll populate. That populated pretty quick. What I wanted to show you was, look how the price varies. And the reason why this price is varying is because of the time of day. So it's re because it pays you by the rate card, it's varying off the time and distance versus upfront pricing. All right, so now we're going to look at airport drop-offs and see if something comes up there or not. Again, it populates different. It populates different. I'm trying to find on the iPhone if it actually tells you Lux XL, Lux Black, any of that. See, I'm not seeing that. So in this case, I mean, just in my opinion, if you have an iPhone, you're kind of handicapped a little bit because you're going to have to go the extra step and you're going to have to scroll through the rides that are populated to, and see it's just going to jump around on you like this. But you're going to have to go through them all this way. And to me, that just costs you time. You see, in the list, it'll tell you what type of ride it is. There's the looks. So anyway, you guys get the idea. Here's one tomorrow, June 1st. Uh, let's see what it looks like. June 1st, that's, what, Thursday? Going 5 miles, 2.45 p.m. We'll go ahead and we'll lock that in. It's going 5 miles for 10 to $15. No big deal there. Anyway, you guys just saw me book a ride. So that's basically how it works. All right, so I just wanted to share that with you. That's my biggest pivot right now. It's not going to work for everybody, but it will work for some of you. So I hope you learn something out of it. I hope it gets you where you're trying to go. Times are tough, you know, and when, when the rides are plentiful, everybody's a hero. But when rides are tough to come by, market shrinking, you got to plan ahead. You got to work the apps. Don't let the apps work you. So with that being said, we'll see you next time. Peace out.